Welcome to our complete walk around ship tour of Windstar Cruises tall ship Wind Spirit. Wind Spirit is one of three tall sailing ships in the Windstar fleet and is permanently based out in French Polynesia, the perfect photogenic environment for such a pretty vessel. Despite being over 35 years young, there's an unquestionable elegance about sailing around one of the most beautiful places on earth in a tall ship with four 62 meter masts supporting six triangular self-furling bridge operated sails presenting 2,200 square meters of fabric to the most economical and carbon friendly power known to man, wind. We spent a week on board and we'll now take you around the public areas of the ship and then one of the 73 near identical staterooms. Let's go! You enter the ship via the reception on deck 3, around which where most of the internal public areas of the ship are situated. We'll quickly shoot down these stairs to deck 2 to show you the water sports platform. The rest of decks 1 and 2 besides the med centre opposite the gym is staterooms, but more about them later. Back upstairs to the reception area on deck 3 and we'll go forward towards the main restaurant on the ship. Amphora, which is a familiar name to all six Windstar ships. This is where you have most of your main meals in the evening, unless there's a deck barbecue or you're in Candles, the speciality restaurant. You'll be able to see the food in our upcoming French Polynesian vlog series, so please subscribe for that because it's the most stunning cruise we've ever filmed, and we can't wait to show you. Back through the reception towards the front, you'll encounter the Star Boutique and a small library. If you follow the corridor through further towards the back, you'll get to the lounge, the main venue for port talks, evening drinks, piano entertainment and other events like the crew talent show and music quizzes. Attached to the lounge and via this fantastic model of the newly stretched Star Pride is the Yacht Club Cafe, a very welcoming place to get your speciality coffees, teas, afternoon tea and various light bites throughout the day. Go through to the back of the lounge, past the bar and you'll exit into a small outdoor wake view area and a spiral staircase up to the main open decks on deck 4. This is where you'll relax for most of your voyage, especially given the beautiful Polynesian weather and the fact there's no private balconies in any of the staterooms. There's even a whirlpool and a swimming pool on this deck, although the word swimming is used in the loosest context here. Above this deck is a mezzanine upper deck referred to as the flying bridge. It's a more intimate area to sit and relax, but includes a brace of ship's steering wheels that apparently the crew can sail the ship from. Well, that's what I'm guessing, although we never saw it happen. Are these real and do they work? Leave us a comment if you know. Moving forward down the promenade towards the front, you'll encounter the Veranda Restaurant, the buffet-style indoor dining venue with a large outdoor area where you'll enjoy breakfast and lunch each day in the warm South Pacific breeze with a stunning backdrop. At night, 
the veranda transforms into Candles, a table service speciality restaurant that with the veranda is a familiar favourite across the whole fleet. You'll see how delightful the food is here in our vlog. Drenched by the mesmerising light of the Polynesian sunsets you'll witness from your table, there's simply no better place on earth for an evening meal. Further forward from the veranda is the bridge and what we refer to as the forward sun deck, where we spent a lot of sunrises and sunsets gazing out into the horizon framing that magnificent bow and forward mast of wind spirit. This ship also benefits from an open bridge, meaning from 12 noon until 4pm every day you can watch the antics of the bridge crew from close hand and ask the captain whatever questions you may have. Hmm, I wish I'd have asked him about the flying bridge wheels now. <laughs> oh well. Last but not least, we'll go down to deck two now and show you a typical stateroom on board this fascinating ship. Every stateroom has portholes instead of picture windows, and as I mentioned before, none have balconies. This is a sailing ship after all. The cabin itself is quite traditional in its design and there's a lot of dark woods and panelling in here, which reflects the style and age of the ship. If you're on the drinks package, the mini bar is exceptionally well stocked and you can express your preferences and the cabin crew will make sure you have all your favourites here. The seating area is very functional, but reminded me of a caravan or motorhome style table arrangement. And there's plenty of storage as a result. The bathroom design may look a little unconventional, but this design gives you much more space than you'd expect. The shower with its two adjustable heads in particular was very powerful, and that curtain wasn't prone to attack you either. And with that we've come to the end of our tour of Windstar Wind Spirit. It's a quick one because it's not a very big ship. Please give the video a like and please consider subscribing as we have an absolutely beautiful multi-part experience vlog coming soon. In the meantime, please click on these to continue your Polynesian adventure. Maururu!